Oh, Jet, nice walleye, dude. Nice one. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? Nice walleye. Nice walleye. Nice. Dude, again. No fucking way. Ah. <laughs> oh, he wasn't too far over here. Oh, nice walleye. Nice walleye. Ow. Oh, God. Okay. I tripped over this rock here. My rods went over there. I tumbled over, ugh, over a bunch of these rocks. What is up, Sodex Squad? Welcome back to another video here on Sodex Fishing. And yeah, we're at the, the local little uh, shitty city spillway. But uh, I've been sick for the last couple days and uh, have, not, have not found the energy or the willingness to go a long distance or whatever. But I had a buddy out here early earlier today that uh got three nice walleye so following in his footsteps i'm hoping to get at least a couple right at sun or right at sun up he ended up getting on some nice fish and uh this is one of my yeah one of my favorite little local local city spillways if you're from the area you know exactly where i am everybody fishes here and ooh, oh, dang. oh it's a grasser too really nice grass carp there i'm not a big carp fan but out of the carp species the uh the grass carps grass carps are my favorite that's a good five pound fish or so i hate to see that but at least we know there is uh there is some kind of fish in here this is our real first open water adventure of the year we have been on the ice all winter long horrible year of ice fishing but we're hoping to make make up for it here this spring and uh yeah this is our first chance to make something happen this spring. So let's make something happen. Let's do this. I'm going to quit talking. If you like the video at any point, make sure you drop down, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet. And uh, yeah, we got two lines already casted out, ready to rip them. We got about an hour before sunset here and not really expecting too much until that sun starts going down. But uh, we are here. We are set up. We are ready to go. And uh, yeah, all there is left to say is let's get after it. All right, we got our little uh, three-way swivel, kind of like a little drop shot, drop shot rig with a floating jig head. We just throw her in the current and let that minnow just uh, wobble in the current like that. Give them a good old wiggle. And I kind of just give it some slow, slow pulls. You can feel that weight just bouncing on the bottom of the river. Pretty snagless, not 100% snagless, but it is a pretty, pretty good rig for snaggy waters. And I always make sure that bottom weight on the bottom, I'll tie the weakest knot right on that weight. So usually it's gonna be the, since it's a floating jig head, the jig head's gonna be right above, uh, right above the bottom. And uh, usually your jig head doesn't get snagged up too much, but your weight might. And with the weakest knot on that weight, usually you can just snap off that weight and uh, retie a new weight on and not lose your whole rig. So that is uh, that is one tip on this rig. But you literally, I use this rig in lakes, rivers, any any kind of conditions, any time of the year. And it is one of my favorite rigs. I have no idea what it's called, but it seems to catch about everything and it's pretty reliable rig. So you just sit there and reel up your slack slow poles and that jig head's just following and wiggling behind there oh well we got a surprise guest oh our rjc outdoors ricky just pulled up and yelled at me at the spillway we're heading out here but he's got a little spot down the way and uh he's gonna cook up some food do some camping and do some chilling so we're gonna go join him up and yeah change the plans again <laughs> Oh, on the minnow and jig. I feel like we got a nice fish on here. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? Nice walleye. Good, big one. Look at that. <laughs> Ooh, look at that chunker, dude. Right, we're gonna get a quick measurement on bud. And 
from the nose, 17 and a three quarters. Just off of 18, quarter inch off of 18. He is covered in sand, but oh, first butterball of the year. Hell yeah. Get a couple pictures of that. All right, now we got to see if we got a stringer around here because I do not have a stringer. Let's go ask Ricky if he's got a stringer. Two thousand years later. You got one? Oh, yeah. Oh, he wasn't too far over here. Oh, nice walleye. Nice walleye. Hell yeah. What are you using on there? Little That's a, uh, what is that? A, a chartreuse oh. top? Kind of like, I don't even know what these are called. Yeah, a little ball head jig chartreuse with yeah. a minnow. Oh, nice. You want well, that one? Yeah, I'll take him yeah, if you don't. Neat. That's Yeah, that's a good 16er. Heck yeah. Hell yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, <laughs> Helping me fill out some, <laughs> some limits here. Oh, nice, nice area you, you found over Yeah, there. he's not as fat as the other one, but he's about as long. He's decent length right there. Oh, yeah. I'll throw a tape on him, because all the YouTube warriors be like, oh, that one wasn't keeper side. I'll call him the game wardens. Like, show it on film. It was. <laughs> My guess is 16 and a half. I'm going to guess 17 even. Ah, God, he spiked me. All right. Chill, 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 chill. Chill. Oh, 16 on the dot. On the dot. Right. Yeah, 16 on the dot. Perfect. Hell yeah. That'll eat. Hey, you didn't get skunked the <laughs> first trip out. <laughs> I'll throw you some light there. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, there's number two on the stringer. Oh, yeah, buddy. All right, let's get it. Well, not a great day, but uh, but an okay day. Oh, a couple nice eaters to go home with, and uh, yeah, we'll do it all again tomorrow. See what happens. All righty. All right, we're getting to the second spot here, and uh, God, this is steep. You go tumbling down this. Hey, Free, I got your first catch. Six inch walleye, bud. Oh, yeah, look at that thing, dude. Oh, yeah. All right, wait. Oh, yeah, I'm chumming it up by you. You be good. Oh. That was nice. That was smooth. For sure, I think it's a walleye, dude. Don't you, Lou? He seems like he's got some good weight to him. Drum fish, drum fish. If you lose this, I'm pushing you straight in the river. Oh, jet, nice walleye, dude. Nice one. Nice. Dude, that's like a 19. I'm oh, guessing. Fuck. He's gone. No. No, God, please, no. 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 You were just. Ah. <laughs> you literally just. I know, I you just that said that. that, dude, don't you hate when you lose a giant fish right now in the bank? Dude, that was a 18-19. Oh, it literally hit the water. I let it fall for like a second. Oh, dude, I want to push you in the river so bad right now. <laughs> when we go to work tomorrow, I'm not even talking to you. You better make up for that. I can't believe it. Dude, that was, that was, yeah, that was a Nine, 18 19 for sure that was a nice one fat oh too God, dude. bro i went to go oh. get it dude and like i know i was standing on something and it just all went away dude like the ground just disappeared <laughs> oh i'll be able to laugh about it one day but i'm crying on the inside right now for head shakes i don't think that's a, cry, a carp I don't know. Catfish? I think it might be a channel cat. Nice one. 
No, no, it's a sucker. Oh no, it is just a normal carp. It's a smaller guy. Just a smaller guy. Ugh. Oh, sorry, I gilled him. I think I ripped out half his gills, my bad. <laughs> All right, little carp ski, bud. Front flip. Bye, bud. Thanks for playing. Was that one on the minnow or the worm? Can't tell if that one was on minnow or worm. Yeah, I gilled him. My bad, bud. <laughs> yeah. here, Probably. Well, we're good. I'd, say I'd walk out there and snag it for you, but it's a little deep for me. Right. I'm going to guess it's a big old carp, bud. I would imagine it. You're probably right. <laughs> yeah. Big old carp, bud. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, nice carp. Give him a ride on. Hey. Right. Ah, look, <laughs> trophy carp. Yeah. Get the fertilizer for the garden. <laughs> we just got here. Oh, yeah. All right. Ooh, oh, hold on. I'm going to take care of it. We'll catch more. All right, carp bud going back. Ugh. Guessing lessons. Hold on here. Oh, you're filming there, then, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yep. You guys want to cook out or what? Yeah, maybe later if we get hungry. I was just keeping it in the backpack in case. There's that. Right there. Oh. Like how Game Warren's like, nice carp, man. I was like, are you being serious? Go with me, cause. I, I can't tell you what's your attitudes. You're, you're very serious right now. I can't tell. They're like, oh, hell yeah, dude. Mom's going to love this for supper. <laughs> oh, a little wind jingle there. Classic wind jingle. Yeah. If this is a walleye. It's a 10 pound walleye. <laughs> Which would be nice, but with the head shakes and everything, it's feeling pretty carpy. Watch out, watch out. Big old swirl. Dude, if this was a wall, I'm gonna shit my pants. No, yeah, big carp. That's a thought. Dude, they just keep sucking on it and sitting there. They're not even. All right, you can get off now. So, what makes these fish bad? They're the worst fish you can eat in the river, basically. They're, you can, if you smoke them right, you can, you can make them taste all right, but they're super bony. They're almost impossible to clean, and they just taste like moss and mud. All right, bro. Just kick them in. <laughs> okay, come on, bro. Come on, Timmy. Come on, Timmy. There you go. I was like, what? <laughs> you touched a fish! He touched a fish! <laughs> he didn't catch him, but he did touch him. I gotta go let my turn. Nice walleye. Oh, Dude, again? No. Way! Ah! <laughs> Come on now, dog. Come <laughs> on, man. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. I see that. I think he pulled him a little aggressive right at the end. Wait, dude, I'm so f***ing mad. I'm just going to walk away from that one. You oh. want You had half a limit you lost today. Oh, oh my God, dude. Oh, mad. Should have brought the net. Brought the net. I got a net in my book. <laughs> All right, well... That oil's going to be hot here in just a second. Good news, dude, I might actually stay. Yeah. 
gosh, he's hot enough. Yeah, it's sizzling. It's good. That's a good thing. For the whole year. Is that guy a welder too? Yeah, he welds right next to me. He's a cool dude. He still doesn't really like that. Maybe he could be with somebody different every day. Uh, if you want to set them over there without getting any dirt on them because all our fixings and stuff are right there so they're going to come out of the pan onto this plate and then uh, we'll move them from this plate over there these go taste so good Right. Campfire better than an air fryer. Fresh caught fish, fresh out of here like yesterday. Oh, oh. Hold this. Perfect slogan, fresh yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, I don't want to spill this. Ugh. All right, plate. Pico de Gallo on that bad boy. Yeah. Put you a drizzle of that bad boy on there. It's brand new. You probably got to bust it. Ooh, a little bit of chopped onions. <laughs> Let me know how that taco is, boy. <laughs> it's amazing, huh? <laughs> Oh, good, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what <laughs> do. That's a good fish taco. Dude, I swear I prayed for something. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Five minutes later. <sighs> Ow. Oh, God. I tripped over this rock here. My rods went over there. I tumbled over, uh, over a bunch of these rocks. Oh, that sucks. And that hurt really bad. Oh. Uh. 
broke my minnow bucket bleeding a little bit but not too much Ugh. that sucked Ugh. Ugh. Well, I am right where I wanted to be, so I'm bleeding a little bit. I broke my minnow bucket. Oh, shinned both my legs pretty good. God, I can't even remember last time I fell like that. Oh, God, that hurt. Oh, oh God. But we're already right here, so let's... Oh, God damn. Let's give it a couple casts real quick. Oh. Just making sure I'm okay. I got all my stuff. And... Ow, dude. That sucked. Oh. 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 Thankfully, I didn't break my rods. Oh. 